Divas. I have another Diamond Dots canvas for you. This is uh, from the artist Van Gogh. So it is a uh, public domain painting. It's called Iris. And it is from Diamond Dots. They, uh, you can get their paintings, Diamond Dots, Diamond Art paintings from Michael's and Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and online. I love the master paintings, and this is one. I love Van Gogh's work. Absolutely love it. The dimensions of this one is uh, the sticky area will be 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters, which is 28 inches by 22 inches. And how many colors? 38 colors. So let's see what we find in here. I'm going to unroll it this way. Maybe pull you back a little bit so you can see it well. Nope, you're back as far as you can get. And I have it upside down. There we go. This is Van Gogh's irises. You can see most of the canvas here. It is a stiff canvas. Very sticky. Very sticky. You can see the rusty ground on the bottom of this side. It's off in an angle. You see mostly purple irises, but you have some white. And at the very top, you have um, some red to balance out the bottom. You have some red flowers in there, too. It is absolutely beautiful. The purple, the green, the reds. Ugh. Lush. 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 Wow. Wow. I, I can show you, um, there's going to be a lot of confetti in it. I can show you up close what the symbols on this one look like. They're very clear to read. Very clear. I don't see any in the, the uh, symbol tree here that would be too much like each other. Even if you get them upside down. I think that, yeah, the arrows only go either up to one, either up but not down, or to the left but not to the right. So you have a lot of that kind of going on. That is awesome. And I'm not sure if we have any shiny drills in this one. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, they're so clear. Now, It is a round kit, diamond painting. Diamond Dots always has round diamonds. And they do the, the canvases so that the color will come up through behind the color that it's meant to be. They have a little, a little slight um, like if it's a dark blue, it's just a slightly lighter blue circle, and that's where you try to hit the, the circle into, but they don't have obvious, uh, like, training wheel lines on it. Uh, it gives you a, a target <laughs> to shoot for, but it won't, like, overpower your, your painting. It comes with the basic kit with a pen and a grip, spongy grip. It comes with a pot of wax, a gray tray with the funnel end, and some baggies. Now let's look at the drills for this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color paintings. I have a feeling some of my rust colors are coming out. I have a few peach drills that are flying out. They do not go by DMC colors, so you will not find DMC code. If you write to me at Wanda at Wanda's Work Basket at gmail.com, I will respond and see if I can send you a copy of the um, uh, a copy of the conversion chart between Diamond Dots colors and oh, I am seeing AB and DMC colors. Anyway, we'll get there. Okay, so we have a lot of browns and rusts. 
And we know where they go. That's the one that looks like it's leaking. Lots of black as well. Lots of black. Three of the black. But then again, it outlines everything so well. All right, that's one set there. I'll show you the set of greens. And there is a green AB in here. There it is. Aurora Borealis, the extra shiny coating on it. Let's see, that's an A6. So let's look at the A6 and where that shows up on the chart. It's a little carrot, an up carrot. So, mm. ah, in the leaves, in the center of the leaves. The leaves of the irises have an Aurora Borealis on yeah, it looks like there are three um, Aurora Borealis in here. We have the green, we have a peach, and we have a white. So I'm going to cut these out and show you where they belong in the lineup of things after I show you all the colors here. going to be beautiful. Okay, so you saw these already. You saw the greens here and the other greens with the navy blue on the end here. All right. That back in here. And some blues, some more blues. blues. I'm amazed at how many, well I guess there would be a lot of blues in with the purples, come to think of it. All those different greens. Amazing, amazing colors. Very bright and vivid. And we have some of the red oranges in here. The rusty reds, the bright oranges. Okay, I'm going to move these off to the side. Uh, we know where the green ones are going to come up. We found that. They're going to be in the midst of these leaves and the light green parts. It's the carrot up sign. This one is a 30, so we're going to find a 30 on the chart. It's an L. Orange L. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of it in the... Um, what's up? A lot of it in the dirt down here. And is it in any of the flowers at the top? Yes. Um, it's, it's stiff to bring up. Some of the, the flowers at the top have it in as well. And the last one is the white AB, and that's A24. And that will be the symbol number, the the, the um, diagonal, the slanted thing. And that's all in this iris. And where else do I see it? Well, there's some in the irises way on the other, whoops, way on the other side over here. And that's about it. That's about all I see it in. But it's enough to bring your eye over here to the edges. You have some down at the bottom, and you have some wandering up through the um, through the strands. That's going to be beautiful. It'll bring your eye all over, all over the canvas. And I dropped my pretty little scissors in here somewhere. Oh, I'll have to find that tomorrow. All right. Well, this is Vincent Van Gogh's irises from Diamond Dots. I'm noticing a different thing about the canvas here that I didn't notice before. It looks straight on the top, but they cut the bottom. You see where they cut the bottom in a slant? They have more under the words than they do around the edge. It like goes, yeah. Um, it's not that that radical. You're going to I'm going to cut that edge off anyway uh, when it gets framed. And I just wanted to call your attention to the edges of the diamond dots canvases. 
They also have the deckle edge, the pinked and poked edge, was what I like to call it. Um, they're cut to prevent fraying, and it looks like it's stitched without thread. Um, that's the poked bit of it. So um, this is a gorgeous canvas, and I am eager to um, just... Oof, ooh, the confetti of it all. It's going to be so beautiful. All right, Divas, thank you for joining me for this one. I have lots more to show you to come. All right. Bye. See you again soon. Bye-bye.